So the reviews are in for Marvel Spider-Man 2 and I am happy to report that it is sitting at a 91% on Metacritic, which is absolutely incredible. Friday cannot come soon enough. I would love to play this game now, please. So I figured what we do is we look at some of the reviews that made up this 91% on Metacritic, look at some of the ones that are in the 90s and look at some of the reviews that are in the 80s because you know, we wanna look at the whole picture and figure what we can glean from all these reviews and get a good idea of what we are to expect this Friday. So I have here Games Radar. They gave it a full five out of five stars. It says here, the idea that a video game setting can be so well designed that it can be considered a central character is a well-worn cliche, but I genuinely can't think of any game I've ever played in recent years where the assertion is more true. That is something that we've always wanted from a Spider-Man game. The more lively the city is, the more you have that immersion, the more it feels like you're actually a superhero flying through New York City. So that is fantastic right there. Okay, so we have here Game Informer who also also gave this game a 90% says insomniac's take on web swinging and traversal through New York City has always been a high point but it's given new life here through several additional tricks including wingsuits that let you glide at high speeds across rooftops and that was one huge complaint that people had about the first game that they felt that the swing was a little bit sluggish like I said in previous videos I didn't really notice it but once it was brought to my attention I went back and played and I could see what they meant I have here an article from game rant they also gave this a very favorable review they said collecting all the suits maxing out all the skill trees and completing the quest lines in the story will take players about 25 to 30 hours so personally Personally for me, I think it is enough. I really don't like when a game overstays its welcome. I think games like this should have a distinct beginning and end, but that's just me. I don't know, everybody's different, but it seems like 30 hours is pretty close to on the nose according to this reviewer. All right, so now I have an article from Forbes. They were a little bit less favorable. They gave it about an 80% says amazing not quite spectacular i really respect paul tassi i don't know if you guys have seen his youtube channel he has a very nuanced view on games i tend to agree with him a lot he said a few hours into the game i wasn't sure insomniac needed to have made marvel spider-man 2 kept wondering if it may not been better to have skipped this exercise and just gone straight to something more interesting like Wolverine. So this is going to be a natural thing. I've seen it in a lot of the reviews. This is always the thing with Spider-Man games. As great as they are, there's only so many ways in which you can do a Spider-Man game. He swings through New York City every game. And I could definitely see that when the first game came out, it was a fairly new experience. It was coming off of a string of Spider-Man stinkers. We hadn't really gotten a really good Spider-Man game. So when we finally got it, it was kind of had that new shiny wrapper this game is going to probably feel more in line with spider-man 2018 and miles morales with improvement so it depends on how you look at that i definitely can see both arguments so this is GameSpot's review another site that gave this game about an 80 percent said there's quite a bit of marvel spider-man 2 that can be summed up as more of the same granted it's a good thing both the original game and the miles morales focus follow-up feature fantastic reimaginings of their respective spider-men it seems to be a trend that the reviewers that gave this game more of an 80% really took away points for the familiarity. So here we have IGN. They also gave this game about an 8.0. It says here, as a sequel in the spectacular series, Marvel Spider-Man 2 is both blessed and cursed. Its story of two Spider-Men is a great time. Overall, even the reviewers that gave this game about an 80 still feel that it's a great game, that maybe it was a little bit too familiar for them, but it's still a game that serves the purpose of which they set out to do with a great story and enemy variety as well as improved swinging traversal i won't know until i actually get my hands on the game i'm going to be playing it the same day that you guys are on friday but it does look to me like it's improved on all the things that i enjoy and i think that your feeling about this game will depend on how big of a Spider-Man fan are you? Like, is, are these the games that you absolutely look forward to? For me, yes. I love Spider-Man games. They are my jam. This is what I enjoy playing. So I don't know if I will feel the same level of fatigue that maybe some other people feel with that said a 91 on metacritic if that doesn't get you hyped then i have no idea what will that is a game of the year score i am very excited to get my hands on this game if you guys are absolutely excited for marvel spider-man 2 then check out my playlist of marvel spider-man 2 content i have a ton of videos in there ranging from reactions to deep dives into features as well as the latest spider-man 2 news if you guys want to be updated i suggest you check that out and as always my my name's Eric Rosas and I hope you guys have a fantastic day.